Hey all, in this video, we're going to install VirtualBox and set up a virtual machine running Ubuntu Desktop. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is head over to virtualbox.org. Once there, if we look to the right, we will see the download button. Go ahead and click it. Look towards the bottom left and you will see a list of operating systems. For this example, I'm on Windows, so I'll choose that one. If your browser asks you to keep it, go ahead and click that and then go ahead and open the downloaded file. Once VirtualBox installer comes up, we will just click next through the rest of the options. Uncheck Start VirtualBox after installation and click Finish. Now we will open up the browser and head over to ubuntu.com. Then select download for free. Then look over to the right and click download. Next, we'll wanna check personal use, which will start the download and you don't need to sign up for the newsletter. Once the download is complete, we're gonna to wanna to open up VirtualBox. At the top, click on new. You can name it whatever you would like. You can leave the folder default, but I like to specify what folder to save the VM in. Then for the ISO image or ISO, click the drop down and click other. Then find where your browser downloaded it. In my case, it was in the downloads folder and select that file. The unattended OS install setup is used to create the username and password. This skips the setup prompts during the install itself. This is so when you actually say install, you can just let it set up everything from the values that you've inputted in this part. Now go ahead and enter what you want in the credential fields. The hardware tab is for how much RAM and CPU cores you want to allocate for the VM. The more is better. However, the VM will take those resources from your system. You can always change this later. For now, I'm gonna put four gigabytes and four CPU cores. Virtual hard disk is the amount of storage you want to give your VM. The default is fine. I changed mine to 30 for specific use case. This can also be changed later, but it is a more complicated process. So just plan accordingly. The VM we created will auto start. If you get this error message that's displayed on the side, that means you do not have virtualization enabled on your machine. You will have to go into your BIOS and enable virtualization. If you look in your BIOS, you can click on advanced, CPU settings or configuration, and then look for Intel VT or AMD V, depending on your CPU. Check it and then save and reboot. Now that I have enabled virtualization on my computer, we can click on start for the Ubuntu VM to get going. Now Ubuntu will go ahead and install everything it needs to. When you get this box, make sure you push enter on try or install Ubuntu. Because we entered everything in the configuration, we won't have to actually input anything during the install itself. So you could go do something else such as make food or go watch a video or something and wait for it to be done. And you should be able to come back to the login screen for Ubuntu. When it's finished installing Ubuntu, you will be on the login screen. Here, we will click on the user and then enter the password we used earlier during the configuration and push enter. When logging in for the first time, you will get a greeting message that will ask you a few more questions. Go ahead and answer through them and then click finish. Now that you've got Ubuntu installed, take some time to explore. Check out the App Store. Try some features and don't be afraid to experiment. If anything breaks, you can always just delete it and reinstall and start fresh. If you have any ideas for the next video, drop it in the comments below. If you found this helpful, give it a like. Maybe consider subscribing for more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.